What's up and good afternoon to everybody out there. You're listening to the Power 92.3 WKVR. I'm Jay Docks, and it's Saturday morning once again, so I'm going to come up here and try to get myself canceled off of them. I'm getting myself just right fired up off of this radio show. This is Please Cancel Me, and I... Um, I'm just going to, like, jump to something because I don't have anything to talk about. Oh, thank you for, I guess, uh, your patience uh, coming on 15 minutes late. I had to write a sternly worded uh, email reprimanding some DJs for leaving the station unattended. But that's, you know. Eh. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to start off with, what is this? Black Tiger Sex Machines and Apache Swing High. Hey, that was... Uh, swing high by black tiger sex machine and apache and i love apache i played some of their stuff uh on a very loud night uh that i got in trouble uh you're listening to the power 92.3 wkvr i just threw that one found it on soundcloud this week i thought it was great it's filthy it is just absolutely disgusting (laughs) filthy um but you're listening to please cancel me where i gotta turn this off right there and I'm going to, uh, I should have queued up the next thing, but I wasn't paying attention. Um, so what's going on? I've got some letters, and uh, la- I'm going to read them real quick, and then I will be addressing my constituents, and that'll be that. Deep Space, Blank Banshee. All right, this was uh, Cyber Zodiac by Blank Banshee off of Blank Banshee Zero, the album. And I love that. That's just some good wave, vapor wave I like to just put on in the background for as I'm reading cool letters. And before that, we heard uh, Deep Space followed by Dreamcast, same Blank Banshee, same album. Um, so looking through these letters, I realized that I only have uh, the one. Wait, hold on. I'm going to put this on. Stop. Now, why is this being all quiet? Oh, I'm back. <laughs> This is just a cool little uh, loop of some spacey, like, bleeping bloops. Uh, I made many because I'm experimenting with stuff right now. But it's cool uh, ambient background noise, and I should probably get some uh, different sound loops because I like having this on in the back. And as Vaughn said, writing in, that is a really cool, like, th- a thing. Sorry, my words are falling apart. This is Please Cancel Me, where um, it turns into sort of a thematic thing. Um, that I come in here and I'm screwing up and I don't know what to talk about. And it seems to be only on this show. I do other shows and I have like a perfect stream of conversation or something with uh, myself and the ghosts that fill up this room whenever I come in here to DJ. But Vaughn was the only one that wrote in all of these other things. These are going to like the sloucher what's in our mailbox, which is getting to be a very uh, busy show. But Vaughn, thank you for writing in again this week. And I'm really looking forward to Dragons and Drive-Bys. I think it was. Uh, that sounds really cool. Um, oh God! See, I was—I had all of my thoughts in a row that I would like be for this. <laughs> I done went and screwed it up, so I'm gonna uh, compose myself a little more. And while I do that, how about you listen to some Ramstein? Wollt ihr das bitte in Flammen sehen? I'm not bilingual, okay. All right, and we're back. That was uh, some Romstein song that I cannot pronounce, but let me try. Wolt ihr das bet in Flammen sehen? So I want to say that Flammen is about fire. So it's about something in fire, I think. Something about fire. Anyway, you're listening to The Power 92.3 WKVR. This is Please Cancel Me. That one was sent in by Vaughn, who's the only people sending in things uh, to my show this week. But um, I'm glad you got that card um, because I'm... (laughs) I, yeah, I tried to send out like um, some Christmas cards to people, and some of them got them. Some of them got to the people like around New Year's, probably, and then some. Some people got them like probably this week, um, but I did at least manage to get them all out. Yeah, um, you know, I didn't like. I and I drew this little uh, cartoon of like a little robot man uh, sitting at the DJ booth, and that is our like actual. That's the studio that we're working with here, and. I didn't, like, intend for it to be, like, a microphone-headed guy, but I've been hearing that, like, a lot coming back from people that they say it is. I was just, like, my, in, like, in my head, it was just, like, uh, some weirdly shaped robot-headed, like, hammerhead-type dude. But I'm sure there was, like, a big influence um, subconsciously in my mind that made it a uh, microphone-headed thing. And I, like, uh, thank you for saying that it could, it looked like it was good enough to be on 
uh, animation domination or uh, ADHD. I love those guys or that whole team or that whole studio or whatever it is. Um, I've been watching recently this series that the Lucas Brothers was putting out through ADHD called um, The Adventures of OG Sherlock Cush. That was um, about Sherlock Holmes, uh, but smoking weed all the time. And every uh, mystery and everything he does is a little bit like centered around smoking weed and that's how uh, he solves mysteries. <laughs> anyway, this is Please Cancel Me and I'm Jadox and I'm up here uh, going space crazy in my own little hyperbaric chamber. And so we're gonna throw it again to some more of Vaughn's music with the Pesh mode. Get the balance right. And I was writing with Mary by X, and that was pretty cool. Whoa. You're listening to the Power 92.3 WKVR. Uh, we heard Riding with Mary by X and Get the Balance Right by Depeche Mode, who we were talking about last week. Listen to some uh, Damaged Goods um, by, what was it? Uh, gang, four, four gang, four, th five gang. Vaughn sent these in, and that's cool. Um, God, I, as soon as I start talking, I immediately just fall apart. I think it's, you know, they always talk about there was like a phenomenon or something that if you listen to your own voice, like at a slight delay, you'll just begin speaking gibberish. Like it just crosswires your brain and you'll just start like speaking absolute nonsense um, because you get crosswired like listening to your own brain at like a one second delay. But I should maybe take these headphones off because maybe that's what's doing it. <laughs> it's just making my brain absolutely crazy. I just feel like I'm speaking to ghosts in here that there's like, there's nothing, uh, gang of four, that's what it was called. <laughs> I'm really interested, uh, I'm really excited to, uh, read the, um, dr uh, uh, drive-bys and dragons. Vaughn, I found, um, your, um, Tales from the Inside, and I have that, like, as a PDF on my computer, and I'm awful. I haven't gotten around to reading through some of these stories yet, but, um, so this is, I think this is a good segue into talking about the Zine Project, which I've been putting together, um, and, you know, because we had people sending in writing and artwork, and, like, Wild Rabbit sends in stuff all the time. We've gotten, like, some weird, uh, these little, like, newspaper cartoons, Weisaker, uh, by a guy, I think it was Antonio. Um, and, uh, because we have a lot of creativity, um, being expressed by our listeners and our DJ DJs and just creativity we see, you know, out and about in Juniata and the community, what I've wanted to do for a while is sort of, um, get, I put my headphones back on and it immediately scrambled my brain. Um, I wanted to get an outlet for this kind of creativity, um, something where we can just showcase this stuff. Um, so zines were like these old, uh, like small scale self-published, like small circulation, uh, booklets or like magazines or something like way back when, like kind of before I was born was when they hit their prime. Um, that like, you know, it would be like pulp science fiction novels or the underground comic scene or like, you know, uh, when the punk scene in a lot of cities was getting big, there was a lot of, uh, art zines around punk rock, um, political editorials, all kinds of stuff. There was this uh, feminist zine. Um, it was like a big part for like revolutionary politics and like feminism and stuff was publishing like editorial pieces and uh, feminist theory in booklets um, and then, you know, distributing them around cities and stuff. And there was this one that I probably can't say the name on air, but it actually, it's, you know, the B word, um, but it like actually became a real published magazine, I believe. Um, so, um, so the zine project, anyway, that we're doing here, that now you have some historical context, is that we just wanted to collect uh, written and drawn, image-based, not drawn necessarily, image-based artwork, anything printable, you know, um, from our listeners uh, and our DJs and our friends and community and all that, and sort of publish that in a small, a little booklet thing, and distribute that, like, online and through like in some physical printed copies also because in the internet age like zines sort of uh fell off the map you know like these communities can gather and express their stuff in different ways on the internet and that's fantastic because it connects people and it's easier but like the sort of art of real zine publishing has fallen by the wayside and you know that runs like a big parallel to being a college radio station you know so many college kids nowadays have 
like Spotify and the iTunes and uh, like Last FM or something, like they have automatic like computerized DJs, and that's fantastic because that means like everyone can have that then. But you know, college radio a little bit falls by the wayside, and like I've talked about, there used to have been like a huge scene um, here where like the college radio was big and they hosted huge parties and they made bank off of uh, cover charges for these parties. They would take up whole dorm floors for just a huge rager. But I digress. That's, um, so we are collecting things here at Juniata. Um, artwork, uh, visual stuff such as drawing, painting, like illustration, photography, like mixed media or collage, some comics. Like I said, we have some comics in already, like computer art, graphic design, something just like anything or written things like short stories, poetry and prose, um, like fiction or nonfiction, some op-eds, articles, uh, anything. Um, Because we want to collate all that into a booklet and print it out and distribute it and stuff to showcase our creativity. And you can do that. I mean, like, you, listener, you can send in uh, anything you want. We've talked about, like, Vaughn sends in... uh, um, his short stories and stuff, which are really cool. Um, Wild Rabbit sends and stuff. We've gotten uh, some art from Casper, uh, some flyers from uh, Two Headed Radio, uh, one of the shows on here. Like they were drawing up their own flyers to promote their show, and I was like, "This is fantastic. Let's have this in here." Um, I've gotten some like watercolor illustrations from a friend of mine um, contributing. So we're just we're, anyway. The way you can do that, the way you can send these into us is at Juniata College, Box 726, at 1700 Moore Street, Huntingdon, PA, 16652. Again, that is Box 726. And if you could address it to the zine project, that would uh, be appreciated. Um, Also, we don't have a name for it yet, so if you wanted to suggest uh, what the zine would be called, the one I was sort of working with was call it Living Media, because it had originally been Dying Media, but it's like, what? Because, you know, it's college radio and published zines, so those are kind of like dying media. And I'm like, well, that's not really the point. The point is that we're trying to, like, make it alive again, so it's living media. Anyway, and we'll take that, and we'll we'll take whatever you have, and we'll, like, scan it or transcribe it and digitize it and then put that back out. And if you want the original back, like, we can, we will be, like, photocopying it and stuff, and we'll be able to send it back to you if that is something you would like. Um, so... T- I'm just running through all the information for this uh, because it is, like, getting officially announced now. We are putting out the call for uh, creative works from our listeners. Um, So, just running through some more information. Um, And you can send in questions if you uh, need to. Um, uh, Payments. We will not pay you uh, to use your art. Sorry. Um, Can't give out, like, royalties or something because we're not... It's any money we actually make out of this from like selling really cheaply at that like a dollar a piece the physical copies that's going to go back to the printing cost and to the as like a little fundraiser for the station um we will credit you fully if you want your name if you want uh a if you want your name if you want like an alias or you want to be anonymous that's fine just let us know and um if you have like a portfolio or something online we can like put a link in there to it anyway it's yeah, and then we're going to have it online as, like, a free PDF. We're going to be selling, like, buck a piece uh, copies of it, and hopefully we'll, we will be able to send some down to SCI Huntingdon and Smithfield because that's, you know, where we're getting a lot of stuff from. Um, and if you are not artistically inclined, feel free to spread the word to anyone you know who might be interested uh, in contributing to this. Uh, so that's pretty much uh the rundown, and that was a really unstructured, like, I'm going to ramble for a little while rundown of the zine project, and I will keep you updated on that in the future. I've been having this thing loop, like, for a while. Um, that's So one of my projects now is going to be making more, like, funky space sounds. Because I like this. I like this little riff. Anyway, <laughs> you're listening to the Power 92.3 WKVR. I'm Jay Dox. This is Please Cancel Me. And um, at some point, the FCC is going to be like, you can't just go on the, like, I guess locally broadcasted, like, the airwaves and put out just you rambling about your, like, pet projects with weird bleepy bloopy space noises in the back. That's, you can't, that's, people just, they, we deserve better than that. The people deserve better than that. <laughs> 
All right, so it's been about nine minutes. I've been talking out of my butt. So we are going to throw on to, uh, oh boy, crap, I got to bring it up now. The last one that uh, Vaughn sent in, my letter. And that is my letter by Flaw. No, it didn't sound good. That one didn't sound good. <laughs> I have like a, I have a page opened up about like a uh, different scales, right? So that you know, like the certain scales where like things fit together, where the songs don't sound like an absolute mess. So you do something like. Ah, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I have a lot of fun with this. Oh my goodness, I'm just gonna put the loop back on. So, I probably should have, um, <laughs> I probably should have gone on my like 10 minute uh, ramble about the zine project after I had played all of Vaughn's music and not just put it uh, in the middle of those. So, uh, the final thing I guess I ought to address um, about Vaughn's letter is that, yes, uh, this is my last semester. I am a senior here at Juniata and I will be graduating in May. Oh, it's, it's exciting. I'm excited. I'm not. Um, and at some point in the semester, we are going to have to be voting on who will be the um, next officers for the club that is the radio station. And I think we have some people that are, like, fairly passionate enough to... I'm really giving them high praise here. Um, we have people that are passionate enough about the radio station to um, keep keep it, you know, rolling, keep it up and moving uh, into next year. And, I mean, I, don't, I won't flatter myself about it, you know? Like, I've... Um, I, I'm not going to be like, oh, well, no one will live up to me, because I really kind of just fell into uh, being the manager here. Um... Because I was just down to do a lot of radio stuff, and somehow uh, they elected me, and that's fine. I mean, that's the democratic process. So, and I, I've at least kept the station mostly not on fire since I've been on here. Um, and uh, hopefully, we will have people like doing great stuff next year and uh, picking up all of uh, the uh, mailbox stuff. Because um, it really like wasn't much as far as I know before this semester or this like last year, the previous uh, managers that were up here, they, um, I don't know their DJ names actually, but they were, they did mailbox, I think, but they didn't do it like the way I, I guess, started doing it where I just taken like a huge bulk amount of playlists that people uh, want to hear. And I think they did more of like stuff that actually gets mailed in like music. And we I actually have like too much of this stuff that gets sent in by like promotional companies. And I need to probably have a separate, uh, a different kind of mailbag show uh, to play some of that, but I just have to listen to it and like screen it, you know, I'm sure it's pretty good. Oh, but something that we are going to listen to right now once I queue it up um, is something that I have been, that I've added uh, myself, a cool artist by the name of Porter Robinson. Um, and it's not here. Why is it not here? Porter Robinson, right? What the he I swear to gosh dang, it's... Okay. Yeah, don't know why that wasn't actually showing up in the thing. Anyway, Porter Robinson, uh, cool dance and house uh, music, cool techno stuff uh, that I found because I watch his brother's video game stuff uh, on YouTube. Anyway, uh, but this is something I added to the station because I just wanted to buy a physical CD of this and now that I have the mp3s from it I'm kind of just like well all right and so we're gonna throw it first to Porter Robinson Divinity oh also Vaughn said he liked Kid Koala last week and we're gonna listen to more Kid Koala so stand by but for now let's listen to Porter Robinson <laughs> I just get a menstrual out of uh, when I'm doing that and it like sounds fairly right because um, I just have like a uh, piano major scales like up uh, on my computer and if you just keep it to specifically those keys, um, it's, it sounds like real music, you know, like it sounds good. Um, 
You're listening to the Power 92.3 WKVR. We were just listening to some Porter Robinson. Uh, we heard Sad Machine and Divinity off of his album Worlds. And that's been really great. I've been bumping to that like crazy the last couple of weeks. Because it's just like heavy, happy, like pumped, like weird space electro. Like it's a scent. I think it's fair to say it's like a soundscape. But it like it's inspirational like I think like a trailer is. This is Please Cancel Me. Uh, I'm Jay Docs, and it's my Saturday afternoon uh, chillin', listening to techno things noises. Um, and I'm like, I have a little bit of skill on this funky thing, this weird little MIDI keyboard. Um, and this is not me playing now, this is a loop. But um, I wanna do some projects with this. Um, and I think I wanna get like pretty good at just messing around with space MIDI noises. I used to play all kinds of different instruments. Oh, whoops. Stop that. Knocked it. I played, um, through my life, I played like the piano for six years. I played the cello for a while in elementary school, um, bagpipes, like guitar for a little bit. And for all of that stuff, it was just sort of, you learn the motions and you learn the songs, like the notes. And it's, it was just like a memory sort of thing for me. But this is somewhat different. I'm, I feel like I'm actually learning about what the music is. Like I'm learning what like the key, like what key it's in, not like piano keys, I mean. And I guess it's like, it's just more creative. It's actually me doing something, even if it's just like this little whatever. And so what I wanted to do with it in this like project I had come up with, which God, like I need another project to not do. I had this, uh, video file of this Edgar Wright directed movie um, at uh, it was the world's end and it's a cool like sci-fi comedy thing um, with Simon Pegg and all that the thing is with this file though is that it something went wrong with it it got corrupted it glitched out horribly but it's the just this now this incredible like shifting field of colors and squares and it's just really crazy but it's like two hours of that so what I wanted to do was like break that up into 10 minute bits and then make some uh, little soundscape things like this over it. And I would put that up on YouTube or something and just, just as um, a sort of bulk, like producing some content that like is, you know, the means to getting better at anything. And that's something that I've always struggled with when I do creative stuff is that I know the rhetoric behind getting good at anything is that you just have to do it. You just have to do it over and over again and you just gotta pump out constant content. Where if that's like drawing or like doing music or something, you just have to, like your first, uh, what, what have I heard? Like your first 10,000 drawings will always be garbage. And that's just what it is to like be creative and get good at something. But you have to, you can't avoid that. You have to get through that 10,000 pieces of garbage to get to the good stuff and you know for me because it's garbage that doesn't encourage me to actually get through it um so that's been my struggle through my entire life thank you everybody for uh listening to uh my sitting on the freud couch telling about all my feelings about people this is my therapy session i guess when i come in here and do this That doesn't sound good. This one's awful. I just do like three at a time where I'm just like. We're gonna listen to some more Kid Koala today. Uh, once I cue that up. That's just, this is the note. This is the note that's my favorite note. It's like an F. You just hit this really hard. Okay, I'm done stalling for time. Uh, Kid Koala, Night at the Newphonia, off of the album Carpal Tunnel Syndrome. I swear, if this, if like playing this doesn't get me kicked off the air, I don't know what will. So we've been listening to some Kid Koala off the album Carpal Tunnel Syndrome. So we heard first was A Night at the Newphonia, then Temple of Gloom, Scurvy, 
And that last one was called Like Irregular Chickens, uh, which I'm sure uh, makes sense with all those weird uh, chicken noises. So I found something out uh, in this software. It actually has more instruments than the same uh, space thing that I've been doing. Now, of course, that's like some synth thing called uh, Suburban, but we've got like, I've just been looking at other uh, things. We have Spacious Choir, which sounds like... No, nope, no, nope, that's still Suburban. My bad. Okay, so this sounds like the sort of thing um, that I want to be hearing when I'm in like a giant old like gothic cathedral and I have a brain parasite. This is spooky. I like this. I like this actually a lot. This is good, this is good like background uh, noise. I'm just hitting random keys and holding them down with this. All right, goodness. Street bells. No, where are you? Come on. Okay, there seems to be no sound for street bells. Maybe I have to up the octaves or down the octaves. Well, there seems to be nothing. Nothing for street bells. And then I had Sandman, which I was looking at, which sounds like. Where's the... Where, where? I'm hitting these keys, ain't I? I mean, San, I mean, Suburban still works. I swear to God, this was... Yeah. Okay, well, great. That's some great dead air. Thanks, Ableton L Live 9 Lights. You really, you really helped me out on that. It's like the... So I think, like, my um, artistic goal for doing this mini stuff is to be able to make... Um, is to be able to be the best composer for uh, science fiction video game menu screens. We just have, like... Yeah, so that's what I'm going to make menu screens. You're listening to The Power 92.3 WKVR. I'm Jay Hawks. This is Please Cancel Me. And thank you for listening to my uh, goofing around experimental garbage. And speaking of experimental garbage, that kid koala was like really funky. Really like cool sampling. I love those little uh, audio clips at the end where this is like dude talking about how they make sound effects, but like in this like nonsensical uh, sort of like extremely surreal way. Um, where he talked about like what putting mud in some dude's head and then punching him I don't know if that was like a head head or if he meant like a mannequin or he's made it sound like a bag of grits Falling or something. Oh my goodness I'm just gonna I'm actually just gonna play more kid koala because that's fun. Uh, so we're gonna throw it to uh, Bar hopper same album kid koala's carpal tunnel syndrome Morning People off of Kid Koala's album Carpal Tunnel Syndrome. Previously, uh, we heard Bar Hopper, and I love Kid Koala. I'm getting real into that. It's just some funk. It's really funky, scratchy, scratchy. Yeah. You're listening to the Power 92.3 WKVR. This is Please Cancel Me, J Dox's uh, most favorite uh, personal Saturday afternoon show where um, I just, I'm really just pushing my own buttons. I'm just pushing the buttons, getting, um, that was a weird thing to say. I'm just trying to get myself kicked out. What was I going to play next? We, I, I think that's enough Kid Koala, but that's really cool. Um, oh, I wanted to try something. I tried, like, messing around with these other MIDI things, and they weren't doing the sound right, but... I want to see about some of these, like, uh, modifiers and audio effects, because I found one, and I put it on this track. It's just called Yo Man. Oh. That's pretty funky. Wow, I'm just I'm just moving it around really bad right here. There's an amount and there's a rate, and it gives me this feel that I'm like dragging this dot around, so. Okay, so this is high rate, no amount. This is no rate, no amount. But then like with the amount of yo man on it. Oh, 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 oh my goodness. <laughs> Take us through the time vortex. We go to planet Jupiter to find space 
rocks. <laughs> okay, I gotta stop. Oh my goodness. You're listening to the Power 92.3 WKVR where I am being a huge uh, dingle dongle. Oh man, there's something called Zorbis. So let's just let's just play. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I'm, okay. I just have this funky mini loop going, and we are experimenting with funky noises. This is a very experimental radio show. This is very uh, postmodernist, I think. Um, let's go in a totally different direction. Play uh, some. What well, you know, the uh, Bonnie Tyler classic, holding out for a hero. That was American Beauty slash American Psycho off of Fallout Boy's album, American Beauty, American Psycho. And before that, we heard, uh, what was it? Some Bonnie Tyler, the old classic holding out for a hero. And these are coming off of like uh, my new like favorite little music thing that I put together, which is just a fight playlist where it's just called Fight Me. And it's like music that I would fight to. Like that I would just, or that I imagine like a cool fight scene uh, involving. That's, that's wet. Mm, listen how wet that is. You're listening to the Power 92.3 WKVR. Uh, I'm Jadox. This has been Please Cancel Me. Um, and thank you again for listening. Um, who I only think it's Vaughn at this point. I don't think anyone else cares. But, um, hey, if you want to send in anything, um, such as letters talking to me, or music you'd like to hear, um, or uh, the zine project, uh, we are accepting, like, all sorts of, like, visual or written art, something that can be copied and printed, uh, to be featured in a little community art zine that we're going to be publishing uh, soon. Um, forgot to mention earlier, as I was describing, like, an huge whole thing about that whole project, um that the deadline for that is March 31st um, because that's sort of the point where I'm like, okay, now I got to start collating this and all and putting it into the thing and start printing it. Um, and I want to have it done by the end of the semester, I guess. Oh, and you can send those to Juniata College, Box 726 at 1700 Moore Street, Huntingdon, PA, 16652. Again, that is Box 7. Two six at Juniata College, and you can address that to JDOX or the Zine, or uh, please cancel me or whatever, and let me know um, if you do want to submit something, how you would like to be credited, um, either by name, alias, anonymous. I don't care, whatever. Thank you for listening. Um, we are going to go out on "Slay It" by Cryptex off of Isolated Incidents. That's really cool. Um, and next week, I will be on doing the same thing, same time, same place, uh, hopefully with new space music to a uh, loop. That's... F I'm putting modifiers on it now. That's, it's wet as heck. So, Slay It, Isolated Incidents. Thank you, everybody, for listening. Um, oh, we also do Thursday and Monday nights for the Mailbag Show, and Tuesday nights is... I just talk uh, with my buddy DJ Static, so... Those all take place at 10 o'clock on those nights. So, goodbye.